Hello, good morning, afternoon. It's almost 12, so it's morning and afternoon in between. Uh, it's Adil uh, Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets midday, uh, midday afternoon or mid, mid afternoon. Call it what you want, midday update on the European markets. Okay, let's see exactly um, what the uh, factors or the variables are that are affecting these markets. Uh, before I do, be sure to uh, down, go visit the tradesignal.com and download the latest app on Google Play and App Store and uh, keep up to date with my market analysis. With regards to uh, the global markets, we've had the um, Nikkei negative overnight, the Shanghai flat, um, mm -hmm. uh, the Hang Seng certainly higher, okay, and you could certainly call it a neutral session in Asia, nothing major, I mean 0.1% uh, moves aren't anything major. I think the uh, expectations of the FOMC minutes is probably more important today. And obviously we have two Fed uh, speakers on tap as well. And that certainly will be dictating sentiment and momentum in the uh, the marketplace itself. In terms of the European markets thus far, the FTSE is certainly stronger on the back of uh, a potential Shire takeover. I think that's the uh, main culprit for the rally. And obviously the oil price as well with the oil inventories data yesterday or last night. Certainly helping the price of oil uh, to accelerate up to the $36 level, $37 level. So certainly a bullish uh, perspective there for the FTSE 100. So the oil price is certainly helping the FTSE to a large extent. Also with regards to H&M, uh, certainly uh, earnings better than expected, uh, given the outlook was certainly expected to be dire. Uh, in terms of the German data, we've had uh, two uh, pieces of information from Germany. Uh, industrial production and the market PMI, I think, if I can recollect correctly. Let me just uh, uh, confirm that, so going back to my timeline. Okay, in terms of Germany, Germany industrial production uh, comes in at minus 0.5% versus the minus 1.8% expected. So certainly stronger than expected. Okay, certainly stronger than expected. And then we subsequently had a, another piece of information from Germany as well. If I can just go back see if I can retrace see if I can locate this I don't think it was actually on the calendar itself so yep Germany market construction PMI at 55.8 so that certainly came in stronger than expected to a large extent so um, so again uh, interesting scenario uh, with regards to Germany solid rise in construction activity rounds of best quarter in five years so Certainly helping the uh, the German DAX potentially stabilize, and again, I'm going to discuss that. Okay, so the Euro USD at 1.135 as well, certainly helping risk sentiment. Okay, so let's start with the German DAX because the German DAX is really the, uh, the the bellwether, the leader in Europe, and it will dictate whether or not this market certainly is going to uh, hold or rally. Now, you clearly see here in the daily chart, we've actually closed the gap now. Uh, the pivot low being the, if I go to the 10 minute chart, and uh, the pivot low being the ten, nine, well, 9508. And we are now looking to play out this uh, inverted head and shoulders formation. So you currently uh, have, uh, bear with me. Let me just exit out of Skype. Okay, so, so you currently have the right shoulder forming, okay, on the German DAX looking to potentially reverse. The 60-minute chart has a bottoming tail, you can clearly see here, at gap fill support, so therefore looking for a potential bounce and a rally in the uh, in the European markets. Okay, so the German DAX is certainly indicating a rally, and that's exactly what I'm expecting at this uh, current juncture, okay? Bring up the EU markets. Okie dokie. In terms of the euro stocks, let's just bring up the chart of euro stocks here now. The daily chart, the euro stocks is holding that gap level on the uh, daily chart. You can see that gap level has been important historically and it's certainly holding. Although you do have the uh, H&S target of 2.810, that certainly remains active. Uh, again, certainly uh, uh, we remain open-minded. The only way we're going to see uh, concerted weakness in the uh, euro stocks at this juncture now is if you have a spike in the euro USD. Now we have the FOMC minutes today also, we have two Fed speakers and they will more than likely be hawkish and therefore that should help the Euro USD to plunge to new lows uh, or intraday low and that should obviously in inadvertently help the European markets. Now uh, the Euro stocks as you can see here is building a base, built a base at 2890 
and therefore looking to potentially thrust higher at this juncture. Okay, so your stocks and the DAX certainly have a bullish sell. The CAC itself, daily chart, that gap level certainly is holding thus far. 60 minute chart of the uh, French CAC again hit holding that gap level. Okay, uh, building a potential base in the 10 minute chart. We haven't seen any lower lows. Uh, we've obviously put in a double bottom here now on the French CAC and now looking to potentially move higher. So bias remains bullish with the unfilled gap above as potential target. Now, I didn't mention the fact that yesterday we had the buns, the buns obviously on the daily chart of breaking out to potential new highs. OK, you can see that we've triggered that. We're consolidating now really on, on in a day like today and then looking to potentially for style. Now, we are into gap fill support on the buns and therefore that obviously is bullish given the fact that buns move higher. They move in line with equity markets. OK, so uh, the buns moving higher equals euro moving lower. Euro moving lower obviously helps the QE trade. And I think you can fit the jigsaw puzzle together. So again, German bonds into gap fill support, and therefore that's considered to be bullish for equities globally. Okay, so certainly looking to potentially push higher with the euro pushing lower. Okay, right. Uh, so as you can see here, with regards to the German bonds, certainly into potential support, and you are looking for the euro USD to break lower. The pattern on the euro USD certainly, <clears throat> like I said, is one of exhaustion. And you are looking for for a potential test lower. The next support level being the uh, key 200 MA and horizontal support down here at the 1.131 zone on the Euro USD. Okay, now the FTSE 100. Let's see where the FTSE 100 is positioned at this juncture. Okay, so the FTSE 100 certainly has propelled higher. We've, we've obviously been consolidating ever since. Uh, consolidating here is a typical example of a bull flag. Uh, consolidation then obviously looking for a rally uh, up to that uh, 6150 zone okay now the 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100 uh, again you are facing stiff resistance in this zone here which is uh, they're on the 6130 zone okay that's certainly facing stiff resistance 60 minute chart which we've already seen looking for a potential bull flag on the FTSE 100 and the daily chart which is consolidating in this region Still is an inside bar, so mind you, bear that in mind uh, with regards to the FTSE. Certainly still remains an inside bar. So again, open to uh, multiple interpretations as always. Uh, whether or not this is a rising contracting wedge with a potential breakout lower is another question. Whether or not this is consolidation for another leg high up to 6300, 6400 and 6500 is again another question. So these are all factors or these are all, uh, scenarios that we'd certainly need to take into account before taking and reviewing our trades. Let's just bring up the chart of oil. Let's see exactly where that stands. As you can said, as I said before, crude oil uh, is are currently approaching resistance now. So again, previous support equals resistance, etc. You still remain in this bearish channel, although we are on the verge of breaking out of it. Okay, so again, uh, the US dollar will be important. Risk sentiment will be important. The Aussie and Kiwi will be important too, to a large extent. But nevertheless, uh, in terms of the economic data now for the remainder of the day, uh, the mortgage applications actually just came out stronger, so that's certainly helped the dollar to a large part. You have EI, EI, A crude oil stock exchange, FOMC message speech, you have FOMC minutes, and then FOMC, Fed Bell, Fed Bullard speaking as well. So as you can see here, uh, a lot of variables, a lot of volatility expected going forward. Uh, having said that though, Euro USD is certainly remaining bearish. The, the, the German bonds certainly look like they want to break out. Therefore, thereby setting the yield lower, thereby setting the Euro lower. And that should obviously inflate European equities. Okay, uh, Given the fact that German data this morning hasn't been as, as worse as expected, certainly has come in slightly to the, uh, the upside. Uh, but actually better than expected and that in and of itself should certainly help the um, the actual uh, trade in the euro usd and obviously given the fact that they are obviously supported by qe as well okay i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs uh, okay you can visit them at w.cfds.com and certainly apply for that uh, very healthy generous uh, account opening offer goodbye now